Hi YouTube. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, I'm Matt. If you're new here, welcome. Out of breath a little bit. Uh, today we're just gonna, there's no camping going on right now. Camper sitting idle. It's coming into winter time here. So we're in Northeast Ohio. It's cold. And uh, today we're gonna do a little bit of an upgrade to our tow vehicle and just for the people that, are, that might be new we tow with a 2001 Dodge Ram 3500 that's our tow vehicle right there so if anybody's familiar with the Dodge Ram especially the older trucks excuse me especially the older trucks the plastic isn't so great on them so fairly early on in the time I owned this truck right after I bought it the the um, the grill cracked on it and it started coming loose the little tabs break off so that happened I bought a cheap eBay it's right here I've already taken it off again eBay grill And that's what was on the truck for probably the last four or five years. It's, I suppose it's been about four years. It's been on there. And it did the same thing. The tabs broke off. I suppose I should have showed you that. There are mounting tabs here and here. It's supposed to be one down here. It didn't even come close to lining up. It's a cheap, cheap grill. I paid like 30 bucks for this thing. They break out. These didn't line up right, so they're off at center and yeah, what a mess. So this grill's gone. And see we've got it. Let's turn this other light on. We've got it off here. And there it is. We're gonna put the new one on today. I ordered a new one from LMC truck so hopefully this one fits better I've had it out of the box it looks a lot nicer than the other one and I'm going with a black finish and I'm gonna put the little ram emblem back on the, the center of the grill like they normally have like they'd have from factory I'm gonna put that back on might not get that back on today but I'm gonna get the grill on today and we're gonna see what it looks like. It's it's shiny black. So I'll uh, catch up with you in a minute. I'll, I'll take it out of the box here. Right here's the box. So here's the grill. Got some packing material stuff on it. They call this a paintable grill. I imagine you would have to scuff it down. And right there's where the emblem goes. Factory emblem can go right there. And it comes with some of the hardware you've got your clips in here and your studs it doesn't come with the bolts and it doesn't come with the nuts so what I did what I like about LMC is when you go on LMC's website it's kind of like going on OEM website I give you a diagram they give you a diagram and a breakdown and I ordered all the hardware it had a kit and in case they didn't have everything in the kit I haven't even opened that yet I went ahead and ordered everything it showed for it so I've got all the new hardware right here those are the nuts and the clips and this should be bolts and everything else so, and this whole setup here, it cost me, I think it was $120 for the grill and all this hardware. So, at least we know we're going to have everything we need. And this is a 2001, this is 2019, 18 year old truck. Obviously, we're going to have some rust and stuff like that. So, for the extra cost of the hardware really is worth it to me to buy the hardware 
all right I just want to show this real quick I don't you know I know this is very simple install I want to show these these are the studs that go in you see there's a coarse thread and a very fine thread here at the top the fine thread is where the nut goes on to hold the grill to the truck the coarse thread threads into the grill and there's I believe six spots one two three four five six spots there towards the top and that's that's all there is to it and those just screw down in until they're tight they go very easily and they'll stop you don't gotta go crazy on them because it's plastic and she gets snug okay so I just learned something if you're gonna buy this grill or th they offer the chrome or the black if you're gonna buy this grill off LMC for the I believe it's it's at least 98 to 01 could be 94 to 02 it's something like that this is the non-sport anyways all you really need to buy is the grill which comes with a couple pieces of hardware the studs that you need or whatever i'm going to show you this part number here this is the hardware kit this has everything in it you need i ordered some individual stuff also because i wasn't sure it really didn't show what exactly was in the kit so i ordered the kit and i ordered individual pieces so here's the part number for the kit hardware and that's all you need this part number and the part number for this grill this tag right here so I did get the little clips on they go with the nut part on the inside towards the inside of the grill towards the center two on that side two on this side and that's it you get one here in the center the grill tab will come underneath and then the bolt comes from up up underneath all right we got it on there we're done you have to pay no attention to the crappy bug guard i have on there it's pretty old whatever i just put it back on it it serves the purpose it does the job so anyways, without further ado, here it is. So we're not going to get the grill emblem on today. Uh, right there, I'm going to have to either get some two-sided tape or some really good glue. I've got my emblem sitting up here on the cabinet. So I got to get that back off of there, uh, put it on the grill, and that's going to be it. But I think it turned out pretty nice. So I thank everybody for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, leave a comment, tell me how much you hate me, I, whatever, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> but uh, I do appreciate all my subscribers and everybody that watches my videos. So until the next one, we'll see you. Thanks.